Meghan Markle is expecting her first child with Prince Harry next spring, but how exactly will she will spending her maternity leave and spare time? Kensington Palace confirmed Meghan and Harry will welcome their first baby next year who will be seventh in line to the throne. The palace said, their royal highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their royal highnesses have appreciated all the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. Meghan is expecting to give birth in the spring of 2019 and she has reportedly had her 12-week scan, and many royal correspondents are speculating that she will give birth in April or May next year. The gender of the baby has not been confirmed, and Meghan and Harry are likely to follow in William and Kate's footsteps by not revealing the gender until after the child is born. The couple are on their first official foreign tour together in Australia which is where they broke the news of the pregnancy. When asked by a group of schoolchildren what they would name their firstborn on board a tram in Melbourne during their trip, the Duchess said, We've been given a long list of names from everyone, we are going to sit down and have a look at them. Ella Burns, a 12-year-old pupil from Albert Park Primary School said, she said that she hasn't thought of one as it was still quite early. Meghan will be taking time off after the birth of her first child just as Kate has done when she gave birth to Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The Duchess of Cambridge returned to work on October 2 after a six-month break from official engagements. Royal biographer Duncan Larkham told Bazaar.com, It is traditional for new royal mums to take a six-month break from official engagements. Meghan revealed to be like most of us when she revealed what she likes to do in her spare time. The Duchess told 12-year-old Ella she didn't have much spare time but when she does she enjoys relaxing and watching TV shows. But she did not disclose which was her favorite, there's heaps, I can't think of a specific one. The Duchess of Cambridge did not spend much time relaxing during her maternity leave this time as she spent a lot of time doting on her two other children, Prince George, 5 and Princess Charlotte, 3. Kate carried on with her motherly duties picking up and dropping George at Thomas's Battersea. And dropping off her daughter Charlotte to Wilcox Nursery School, which is one mile away from home. The Duchess tries to keep a low profile during her maternity leave, but some images from her pregnancy of Princess Charlotte showed her dropping George to Buckingham Palace for his swimming lessons. Despite Kate being on maternity leave earlier this year she was spotted in public on numerous occasions. Namely at the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Prince Louis christening and trooping the colour. Meghan Markle, 37, and Prince Harry, 33, have announced the Duchess is pregnant. The news was announced on Monday. What were the body language clues and signs the couple were expecting? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will soon have another member of their royal family, as the couple announced they are expecting a baby. The news broke on Monday morning, and Kensington Palace wrote on Twitter, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. The couple's child will have Kate Middleton and Prince William's children Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 3 and Prince Louis, born in April, as cousins. Many had suspected the pregnancy in the past weeks, but now an expert has revealed the telltale signs Meghan was expecting. Body language expert Judy James told Express.co.uk the body language clues we all missed. She claimed the best clues could be seen on September 20, when Meghan was launching a project. She said, the most comprehensive clues that Meghan might be pregnant came when she was launching the Grenfell cookbook. The Duchess's mother came into town, and she, Meghan and Harry attended the launch together. Judy said, firstly there was her mother Doria, arriving from the US to temporarily take Harry's place at her daughter's side as mothers tend to do when there's a first baby on the way, looking proud and protective and leaving a rather bashful looking Harry following along behind. Meghan put an arm over her stomach, a move Judy said was rather revealing. She said, 
Then there was the way that Megan performed a very telling gesture as she walked from the car, placing an arm across her stomach area in a reflective act of protection and masking. She was clearly keen to keep the pregnancy a secret but this body language giveaway showed where her real focus was at the time. Her doting husband Prince Harry also gave off some body language signals that a baby was on the way. Judy said, interestingly, Harry used the same gestural tell. As he walked behind his wife his hand also performed an act of subliminal mimicry, rising to his waistband in an act of empathetic thinking that many new fathers will use. The way they interacted with one another was also a big sign, Judy explained. Harry and Meghan's touch rituals had also changed dramatically recently, she said. Their PDAs and tie signs had usually involved Meghan touching Harry's back or patting or stroking his arm to suggest reassurance, affection and steering. Suddenly though it was Harry doing all the protective touches, placing a hand on his wife's back or an arm around her waist in rituals of loving concern. Fashion fans may have noticed Meghan's wardrobe changing, which Judy also pointed out. She said, Meghan's clothing style changed too, from the sleeker figure-hugging fashions or the chic masculine tailoring complete with wide, tight statement belts to tops with frills or peplums to cover her stomach or that beautiful coat she wore to Eugenie's wedding with the lower buttons left undone for comfort. Meghan Markle's baby bump was on show in a green dress. Punters are convinced Meghan Markle is pregnant with twins after bookmaker Coral took a sudden rush of bets on her giving birth to two babies. Coral has cut the odds on Meghan Markle having twins when she gives birth next spring from 8-1 to 2-4-1 after taking a flurry of bets over the last 24 hours. The Duchess of Sussex is also 51 to have triplets, while a boy is the favorite at 10-11 in the gender betting. Coral's John Hill said. Many punters feel as though Meghan and Harry will have their hands full with not one but two babies next year. We have seen a rush of bets since their announcement for the couple to have twins. Coral is also taking bets on the name of Meghan and Prince Harry's first child, with James a huge early favorite at 7-1. Other notable names receiving bets are Victoria at 8-1, Thomas at 12-1, Diana and Elizabeth both at 16-1, and Philip at 21. Outside bets include Donald and Kanye, after Donald Trump and Kanye West, at 151, while Theresa, after Prime Minister Theresa May, is a huge long shot at 201. Mr. Hill added, over 60% of all the bets we have taken so far have been for James who is the early favorite. But if it is a girl, Victoria, Olivia and Diana are the names which are being heavily backed. On Monday. Bookmakers predicted punters could pile in more than pound six million in wagers as speculation over the name of Meghan and Harry's baby reaches fever pitch. Betting intelligence website www.bookmakers.tv said the rush to place bets will outstrip that witnessed with all three of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's children. Such is the popularity of Harry and Meghan royal fans will rush to speculate on the name arrival date and much more in volumes massively eclipsing the estimated £3 million registered for the entirety of the Cambridge family. Spokesman Alex Costin said, Meghan and Harry's popularity is off the charts and their good news will send the public into a royal betting frenzy of epic proportions. Fans are so keen to speculate on every aspect of the baby and millions will be riding on the name, arrival date and sex among many other predictions. He added, Bookies will be desperate the pair go for an outside choice of name as if they follow tradition, royal watchers will cash in like never before. Bedford spokeswoman Katie Bayless said, at this stage Diana, Arthur, and Alice, which was favored at different stages for Kate and William's babies, are the 12-1 front runners. However, with months until the baby is born, those odds will shorten, change and other names will come to the forefront, so watch this space. Jessica Bridge of Ladbrokes added, with Meghan's USA roots it would be remiss of bookmakers to rule out an American moniker featuring somewhere. Meghan is currently on her first global royal tour with Harry, and has been showing off her pregnancy glow during their first visits in Australia. Their 16-day trip will see them watch the Invictus Games, and then fly to Fiji, Donga, 
and New Zealand, before returning to Australia for their final stop. Oh, my God.